Yo, what up everybody? Today is October 18th, the day that the light level was increased to 400 and the hard mode came out for the raid. And after about four hours, I was able to reach light level 400. As you're seeing a little speed up version of me finally reaching that light. Um, I'm gonna give you a little bit of detail about how I did it, very brief though. Packages helped me get up to 390. Exotics got me to 393 after that. I then did the hard raid, which got me from about 393 to 396, at which point I went to Archon's Forge to get my ghost, cloak, and artifacts of 400. Then, as you see here, use exotic engrams to get me the rest of the way. Nothing too special, but we did do it in four hours. Now, I'm going to test out some different common weapons, snipers for the most part, and show you what they do with light level enabled in the Crucible, so you will know if getting light 400 is very important for Trials of Osiris. All right, for the first demonstrations, and for all of them actually, we have from left to right, highest to lowest light. On the far left is 395, next to him 385, then 375, and then 364. These guys are max armor, and also are using the chest piece that helps them have extra armor for their individual subclasses. I'm using the sniper that is called Devil's Dawn the highest impact sniper archetype, and we're gonna test out some body shots working from left to right. 395 light. Here's the body shot, 400 to 395, dealt 187. To the 385, dealt 188. To the 375, 195. And then Shadow Trooper at 364, the body shot takes him out. Now moving on to the but not forgotten, the sniper you get out of Archon's Forge. This sniper does less impact than Devil's Dawn, but more than the Longbow Synthesis archetype. As you'll see, body shots to even the 364 will not kill. These guys, once again, do have max armor and the chest piece that gives them more armor for their subclass. But you can obviously figure out that if this does not kill, neither will a Longbow or a Thousand Yard kind of sniper. Um, even if they are a full 36 light beneath you. Now for our next test, let's take the Lingering Song. That is the hand cannon you get from Iron Banner. It's very high impact, very popular in Trials of Osiris. As you will see, the 395 is able to survive, as is the 385. However, the 375 does as well, despite taking 100 headshots to the head two times. Keep in mind, Titans, like this guy is, are able to get more armor in their subclass, hence him surviving. So normally, even if they have max armor and they have the chest piece that gives them more armor for their subclass, they will die at a 25 light difference unless they are a maxed armored titan. That is the only thing that kept them from or kept them alive. So 25 light difference is enough to two tap with the lingering song in almost every occasion. Now for this next demonstration, we are back to the Devil's Dawn, and I have asked everybody to lower their armor to minimum. However, they have kept their chest piece the same, the chest piece that gives them extra armor for their subclass. As you see here, the Devil's Dawn, that high impact sniper, almost kills the 395, just 5 light below me, and does kill the 385, 75, and 64. So even if they are wearing the chest piece that gives them more armor for their subclass, um... If they have less armor or minimal armor on their um, subclass setup, then probably 10, but definitely 15 light is enough to body shot and kill them in Trials of Osiris or Iron Banner. Now on to the but not forgotten, the Archon's Forge Sniper just below Devil's Dawn and Impact. Same setup, chest piece enabled, however armor is minimum. 395 survives. 385 survives. Will the 375 Titan survive this body shot? He will. Keep in mind, he is a Titan. And so will the Hunter. So, the But Not Forgotten is a no-no. You will not body shot people, even if they do not have max armor. It is not a weapon you want to use if you are at a massive light advantage in Trials of Osiris or Iron Banner. Now back to that lingering song, the Iron Banner hand cannon, high impact, 395 light, and look at this. Two shots and he goes down. Keep in mind he is not running max armor on his subclass, but he does have the chest piece that gives him more armor. And you obviously know what's next for the three of them who are lower light than 395. 
Now, what this tells me is that this is a great choice of a hand cannon if you are very high light for trials or iron banner. If you can two tap someone who's just five light below you, who is still using the chest piece that gives them more armor, just not max armor in their subclass, then this is an extremely powerful choice and something you should definitely consider using. Now, last but not least, we have the last word, a very popular hand cannon in the Crucible. I use soft ballistics and high caliber rounds, and I apologize, but I only tested out that setup, which I realized was a mistake later. Two body shots and a headshot, not enough to kill the 395. This is back with that minimum armor and the chest piece that helps them have extra armor. Now, it's not enough to kill anybody except for Shadow Trooper, the 364 light. So what that tells me is that this last word is not really as good of a weapon to use when you are a much higher light than your enemies. It's not going to give you a big upper hand like the other weapons that we've tested out. Now, I'm sorry if I missed out on any of the weapons that you guys thought was important to test out. I've never done a video like this, and I'm not very good at editing, and I probably missed out on some things. However, I hope this demonstration does help you guys realize the importance or lack of importance of becoming 400 life for Trials of Osiris. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something, and I hope to see you guys visit my stream on Twitch. Thank you very much, and have an awesome day.